The word of Yahuwah which came unto Sephan Yahu, the son of Kishai, the son of Gadol Yahu, the son of Amer Yahu, the son of Yeshizaki Yahu, in the days of Yoshi Yahu, the son of Amen, king of Yehuda, I will utterly consume all things from off the land, says Yahuwah. I will consume man and beast. I will consume the fowls of the heavens and the fish of the sea and the stumbling blocks with the wicked. And I will cut off man from off the land, says Yahuwah. I will also stretch out my hand upon Yehuda and upon all the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And I will cut off the remnant of Baal from this place and the name of the Kimarim with the priest and them that worship the host of the heavens upon the housetops, and them that worship and that swear by Yahuwah, and that swear by Melchim, and them that are turned back from Yahuwah, and those that have not sought Yahuwah, nor inquired for him. Hold your peace at the presence of Adonai Yahuwah, for the day of Yahuwah is at hand. For Yahuwah has prepared a sacrifice, he has bid his guest, and it shall come to pass in the day of Yahuwah's sacrifice that I will punish the princes and the king's children and all such as are clothed with strange apparel. In the same day also will I punish all those that leap on the threshold, which fill their Adonai's houses with violence and deceit. And it shall come to pass in that day, says Yahuwah, that there shall be the noise of a cry from the fish gate, and a howling from the second, and a great crashing from the hills. Howl, ye inhabitants of Maktesh, for all the merchant people are cut down, all they that bear silver are cut off, and it shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles, and punish the men that are settled on their leaves. They that say in their heart, Yahuwah will not do good, neither will he do evil. Therefore their good shall become a booty, and the houses a desolation. They shall also build houses, but not inhabit them. And they shall plant vineyards, but not drink the wine thereof. The great day of Yahuwah is near. It is near and hastens greatly. Even the voice of the day of Yahuwah the mighty man shall cry there bitterly. That day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness, a day of the shofar and alarm against the fenced cities and against the high towers. And I will bring distress upon men that they shall walk like blind men because they have sinned against Yahuwah and their blood shall be poured out as dust, and their flesh as the dung. Neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of Yahuwah's wrath, but the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy. For he shall make even a speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land. Gather yourselves together, yea, gather together, O nation not desired before the decree bring forth, before the day pass as the chaff, before the fierce anger of Yahuwah come upon you, before the day of Yahuwah's anger come upon you. Seek ye Yahuwah, all ye meek of the earth, which have wrought his judgment. Seek righteousness, seek meekness. It may be ye shall be hid in the day of Yahuwah's anger. For in Gaza shall be forsaken, in Ashkelon a desolation. They shall drive out Ashdod at the noonday, and Ekron shall be rooted up. Woe unto the inhabitants of the sea coast, the nation of the Karathim, the word of Yahuwah is against you. O Kenan, the land of the Philistine, I will even destroy you, that there shall be no inhabitant. And the sea coast shall be dwellings and cottages for shepherds and folds for flocks. And the coast shall be for the remnant of the house of Yehuda. They shall feed thereupon in the house of Ashkelon shall they lie down in the evening. For Yahuwah Elohim shall visit them and turn away their captivity. I have heard the reproach of Moab and the rivalings of the children of Ammon, whereby they have reproached my people and magnified themselves against their border. 
Therefore, as I live, says Yahuwah Sabaot, the Elohai of Yashrael, surely Moab shall be as Sedum, and the children of Ammon as Amorah, even the breeding of nettles and salt pits, and a perpetual desolation. The remnant of my people shall spoil them, and the remnant of my people shall possess them. This shall they have for their pride, because they have reproached and magnified themselves against the people of Yahuwah Sabaot. Yahuwah will be terrible unto them, for he will famish all the Elohai of the earth, and men shall worship him, every one from his place, even all the isles of the heathen. Ye Cushim also, ye shall be slain by my sword, and he will stretch out his hand against the north, and destroy Asher, and will make Nineveh a desolation, and dry like a wilderness. And flocks shall lie down in the midst of her, all the beasts of the nations, both the cormorant and the bittern shall lodge in the upper lintels of it. Their voice shall sing in the windows. Desolation shall be in the thresholds, for he shall uncover the set of work. This is the rejoicing city that dwelt carelessly, that said in her heart, I am, and there is none beside me. How has she become a desolation, a place for beasts to lie down in? Everyone that passes by her shall hiss and wag his hand. Woe to her that is filthy and polluted, to the oppressing city. She obeyed not the voice, she received not correction, she trusted not in Yahuwah, she drew not near to her Elohim. Her princes within her are roaring lions, her judges are evening wolves, they gnaw not the bones till the morrow. Her prophets are light and treacherous persons, her priests have polluted the sanctuary, they have done violence to the Torah. The just Yahuwah is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Even mourning he brings his judgment to light. He fails not, but the unjust knows no shame. I have cut off the nations. Their towers are desolate. I made their streets waste, that none passes by. Their cities are destroyed, so that there is no man, that there is none inhabitant. I said, surely you will fear me. You will receive instruction, so their dwelling should not be cut off. Howsoever I punished them, but they rose early and corrupted all their doings. Therefore, wait ye upon me, says Yahuwah, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdoms, to pour upon them my indignation, even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. For then will I turn to the people a pure language, that they may all call upon the name of Yahuwah to serve him with one consent. From beyond the rivers of Cush, my supplicants, even the daughter of my dispersed, shall bring my offering. And that day shall you not be ashamed for all your doings, wherein you have transgressed against me. For then will I take out of the midst of you them that rejoice in your pride. And you shall no more be haughty because of my holy mountain. I will also leave in the midst of you an afflicted and poor people. And they shall trust in the name of Yahuwah. The remnant of Yashrael shall not do iniquity, nor speak lies. Neither shall a deceitful tongue be found in their mouth. For they shall feed and lie down and none shall make them afraid. Sing, O daughter of Sion, shout, O Yashrael, be glad and rejoice with all your heart, O daughter of Jerusalem. Yahuwah has taken away your judgments. He has cast out your enemy. The king of Yashrael, even Yahuwah, is in the midst of you. You shall not see evil any more. In that day, it shall be said to Jerusalem, fear you not. And to Sion, let not your hands be slack. Yahuwah Elohaka, in the midst of you is mighty. He will save. He will rejoice over you with joy. He will rest in his love. He will joy over you with singing. I will gather them that are sorrowful for the solemn assembly who are of you, to whom the reproach of it was a burden. Behold, at that time, I will undo all that afflict you, and I will save her that limps and gather her that was driven out. I will give them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. At that time will I bring you again, even in the time that I gather you. 
for I will make you a name and a praise among all people of the earth when I turn back your captivity before your eyes, says Yahuwah. 